Hey guys, I'm Tech today I'm going to show you how to install a blade in your Dewalt XR brushless circular saw. And this is it right here. This is the model DCS 570. Some may call it the lefty, but honestly, it really depends on your preferences. It doesn't matter if you're left handed or right handed, you can be used either hand. The only difference with the XR is that if you're right handed, chances are you'll be looking over the blade like this. So to install a blade is fairly easy. The only thing you need to do is actually pay attention to the blade itself. Depends on the saw you have and the blade you have. A lot of blades will have actually arrows indicating which way that blade is turning. You can also check on the motor itself by turning it on and see which way the motor is turning. In my case, it's turning counterclockwise. So if there's no markings on the blade itself, you can actually check the blade tips for directions of which way it's supposed to be turning. You look at the tip of the blade and that should be facing the way it's turning. So in this case, the blades are first thing this way. That means it's supposed to turn this way. So to get started to replace the blade, the first thing you want to do is actually make sure you remove the battery. It's very important for your safety. Next, locate the tool, which is on the back of the tool itself. And all you have to do is just pull it out and you get this wrench. Next, it's easier if you move the guard out of the way. When you look at this side, there's actually a locking mechanism that you press in. That way, you can add a wrench, it will lock in place and will lock the saw. This way you can remove the screw and the tip cover. Now that the blade's inside, we want to put back the lock. And put back the screw. Then, we want to actually secure it. Remember to push the button in to lock our blades. Just keep an eye that you do not want to over tighten it. Over tightening it can actually damage the blade or the bolt itself. Just do a firm twist to make sure it's locked. But remember, try not to overdo it. Next, we can take a battery and test it. Once the blade is fully secured, just put in back the wrench so you don't lose it. Hope this video was helpful. Make sure you click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. If you don't use the tool, make sure you remove the battery. That prevents from anybody accidentally doing any damage.